going to be a horsemanship riding instruction clinic and it's a little smaller so there's going to be lots of one-on-one -on -one time lots of demonstration and this is about a clinic is about this is about it's about learning and if you don't learn if you want to get better you've got to learn to ride better the better you ride the better you're going to get done the, the better you're going to do it at cutting I'm going to work on all aspects and it all comes down and I don't care who you are I don't care just like myself training a horse and at a, at a clinic if you don't do the foundations right cutting a cow if you're not thinking the same way that your horse I want my so when I tune, train a horse is the same I want a rider to think the same way as what I'm trying to teach my horse to think rate stop first see what's going to happen then react that happens in herd work you have to rate a cow you have to be able to read a cow and um, so it all comes down I'm going to work on foundation if you're struggling with herd work to me it's because you're not rating the cow right then you got to be ready for the stop it happens in the herd everything starts with that part You know, not just have a big open arena and people are riding around. I'm going to set up some barrels and stuff where people have to ride around. And consequently, you have to use your hands, your feet, everything. Slow your horse down, how to speed your horse up at the same time, just with some simple barrels or learning how to ride from point A to point B. It's very simple exercises, but very important exercises about how to handle your horse. Are you telling your horse to do the right things? All that little stuff will be huge when you go to the show pen. Well, the biggest transformation I think they're gonna get out of this, or hopefully they get out of the clinic, is about the simple stuff. How that simple stuff makes the big stuff better. The better you ride, the better the horse. Being able to bring a horse up to a level instead of the horse coming down to your level. I want a horse to come up to the rider's level, not the other way around. We're not accepting a lot of people. There's going to be seven people, so there's going to be lots of one-on-one -on -one time. We're not going to rush through. You're going to be able to ask lots of questions. So when there's going to be lots of cattle to work, if you like. And so there's going to be a lot more one-on-one -on -one time. And you don't have to wait around so long for your next turn. And that's really important because we can just keep repeating, repeating. And, it, and you know, so it's just like training a horse, it's about muscle memory. Do it so much that you don't even think you're doing it anymore. I'm going to also take a few horses and I'm going to, for demonstration purposes, because I'm going to be talking to you about what I'm doing while I'm working a horse then it's really important for, for visual, visual effects. Because I'm going to be trying to do the exact, I'm going to be doing and telling my horse and I'm going to try to explain to you while I'm doing it while I'm working a horse. So there will be lots of, again, this, this clinic is not about how good of a horse you're riding. I don't care what horse you're riding. This is about increasing the skill of the rider. We'll send people home with a, you know, kind of a personal work plan. This is kind of like when you go to a personal trainer to work out. He's going to give you some homework to do. Well, I mean, it's going to be fun. I mean, Steve's going to cook, and and uh, you know, he's a you know he's a really personal fella at the Steve D's where the place is at. He's very personable and he's uh, very entertaining. And it's, again, smaller people, less people, we get to know each other more, there's more one-on-one uh, -on -one time, we get to tell stories, and, you know, so it's going to be, you know, it's going to be fun too. There's going to be lots of schooling and direction, but there's going to be lots of time to joke and, and um, have some fun.